Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again. We are back on a zero streak. I died as a Zazel. <sighs> How dare I? How dare I? We're going to play as regular old Lost this time around. I find Lost runs to be quite a bit of fun. Not quite as fun as Tainted Lost, but still. Um, the free cash rooms off the bat is always rather nice. Unfortunately, this is not one of such moments. If I get hit here, I am dead, which would be honestly fine. Um, I'm not going to get hit on purpose, but... There's basically nothing I can gain out of this room, I don't think. So, not all that exciting. Uh, eh. There you go. Hey, her. But yeah, we got our dice 30. Is, I thought it was a 30% chance to uh, make things disappear on reroll, but apparently it's 25, so I was wrong. Or whoever told me 30, um 25% was wrong. I'm not sure which one was wrong, but one of them was wrong. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try and use that as much as we can. But I am on an absolute high today, and that is not because I'm actually high. Um, it's because I have, um, I've just, I've achieved something that I did not think I'd be achieving in my lifetime, never mind so soon, um, very, very recently, uh, this morning. I, uh, as many of you may know, many of you may be listening regularly, have been trying to lose weight over the past, um, basically since the start of the year, I started my sort of weight loss journey, although I hate that terminology, but I started my weight loss journey, if you're going to call it that, at the start of the year, literally on like, I think it was January 3rd was the first like day I started dieting and exercising more regularly. And in that time, I, as it started to get a bit warmer out, I started to go on outdoor runs, um, of which I'd never really done. I had done running before on, uh, on like the treadmill and I had done a few 5Ks before, so I wasn't completely, um, unfamiliar with running. I was, I, I knew I had okay stamina, I knew I was up for doing some running. So I started doing outdoor runs, I started obviously with doing like 5Ks and then I, I've slowly been sort of working my way up to see what I'm able to do, um, and I've been doing... Um, we're not seeing our item room yet. I've been doing like mainly 10Ks, which I've been pretty ha pretty happy with, pretty proud of. And on a few occasions, I've gone a little bit further than that with my with my best one being in one singular run. My best one being, um, I think it was 15.4K. Um, K being kilometers, by the way. Um, and I, I thought that was pretty good. Um, I thought that was pretty decent. But today, today I have, I have done my crowning achievement. This morning, I ran 21... 0.25 kilometers, which as some of you may know, or some of you may not know, that is the length, ooh, this is probably better, uh, that is the length of a half marathon. Really, game? Really? After I do all the rooms, you're going to give me another active? I didn't even talk about the fact that I got a cracked key here, um, but yeah, I did. Uh, yeah, let me just go for secret room here, which I think to be here, uh, just because of our cracked key. Fuck off. <laughs> Game. What are you doing to me right now? This is evil. Actually evil. Um, I guess I'll use it in this room. Why not? It's a little dangerous, but hey ho, we might get something out of it. Um, yeah, I, I ran 21.25 kilometers today. Like I said, that's a half marathon. Um, and considering I started running at the start of the year, which is not really that long ago, I'm really fucking proud of myself, and I think it's probably one of my greatest physical achievements ever. Um, do I want to keep the cracked key for finding secret rooms, or... I don't know, I'm, I'm curious. But yeah, I'm, 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 on a, I'm on a real high today because of it, I'm, I'm feeling very, very good. Right, um... I think regular secret room is here. There you go. I'm gonna I'm gonna use it for finding secret rooms. Um, got this. The nutter. Don't really want that. Don't really think we get anything from any of this. We can't get an additional charge, so both those actives are pretty useless for us. So this floor has been an absolute wash in terms of items. Uh, I guess I could buy a battery, and that would be pretty useful for re-rolling the D12 potentially. Um, so I should maybe check that out. I don't want to give up the goat too quickly. But yeah, so I'm, I'm just in a really good mood today. And as for the question of the day, I'll keep it on theme. What's what's one of your achievements? Something that you've achieved that you're really proud of recently? No battery in here, but that is pretty good. I will take that. Wow. Let's get my thingy back first. Okay. 
I could let you boom my donation machine, but I really don't need you to. I'm a little upsetty spaghetti about the uh, the way that this floor has gone thus far. I'm going to try and go to the um, transition room to the alt floor and see if I can get a charge that way, because sometimes you can. And I'm just going to hope for the best there. Yeah, that didn't really work out the way I wanted it to, did it? I was hoping I could get the copper bomb to blow up right on time for him to take a nice fat hit there, but sadly, it did not work out that way. But yeah, today's a bit of a recorder palooza. Um, I've got stuff going on this weekend, so I can't record over the weekend, which means it's Friday, and I've got to record Friday's video, which is the one I'm recording now, and Saturdays and Sundays as well. So a bit of a recorder palooza. I do enjoy these on occasion. They're kind of fun. Um, but they're also kind of daunting, because it means I've got to come up with a bunch of questions of the day. Uh, and that's like the hardest bit about it, honestly. The rest I can black my way through, but that I can't. Right, please have an enemy. You fucking motherfucker. How dare you be so dirty to me? Is there any other way I can get a charge on this floor? I've seen both the secret rooms. I guess I could use the cracked key to potentially fight a combat room, and that could potentially yield me with a uh, charge. I'm going to do it. So... Not ideal, I'll be honest. Um, not ideal at all. So we get with this, which is interesting. What the fuck was the point in that? Okay. <sighs> of all the rooms you could have gave me, I feel so betrayed right now. Two actives and then an active in my secret room that I can do nothing about. It's just upsetting. That's what it is, it's just upsetting. I'm leaving this floor with my head held fully in shame, feeling really upset, and on my way down. Ugh, that is... Oh, why are you giving me so many fucking actives, game? Legitimately, I'll say this about so many different things based on the current happenings of each episode, but legitimately, I genuinely think that the ridiculousness of active items appearing like that is one of the worst things in this game. I absolutely- just nothing brings me quite as much anger as the game just being like, Oh, you're playing as a character that starts with an active item that's really important to the character. Poo boy! Wouldn't you just love- wouldn't you just love a bunch of other actives? And now I do- I do also see people saying, Hey, there's, um, there's mods out there that make it so you start with those items in your pocket. And while I do agree that those mods exist and I could use them, I, I don't know how comfortable I feel about using those, because I feel that, like that increases the power of the characters by quite a bit. Um, and I feel like- I, I'm not saying it's cheating, I don't really care about cheating people, I, like- I've expressed that before, but you know what I mean? I don't really want to really artificially increase the character's power by a bunch just because of an annoyance. But at the same time, I suppose if that's the way I'm talking, I can't really keep complaining about it the way that I goddamn do, can I? I need to give it up. Right. Take care of you. Good, good. And pop through here. It's so all actives again, which I'm obviously was way more expected here. I could take the Hedonist's Cookbook, or whatever it's called, this thing, because this thing is goddamn incredible. Um, ooh, hello. Um... I guess I'll keep re-rolling until I get a passive, or see if I get a passive. Oh, hello. Wasn't expecting this. But I'll certainly take that. Certainly I will take that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, God damn it! Pretty happy with how things are going this floor, I've got to say. Things are panning out way more in our favour. Oh, hello. Hey, is that our first key that we've got from this so far? Might well be. Right. Quickly go through here, see what's what. Oh, look! 
Another active. Oh, look, another book. What the hell's going on with all the books right now? The books are crazy. Ooh, that's an item I want. I don't have a bomb, though. Ooh, I do have a bunch of explosive barrels, though. Yeah. I will take that. Right. Let's go re-roll our books again. I know that there's not a super high chance of me getting a passive here, but I'm gonna try it. Book of Virtue, stuff like that. It's, it's there. It's possible. Gave us one bomb. Uh, secret room. I'm not entirely sure on right now. He is likely, but not. I don't know. No, sadly not. Sadly not. It's okay. Let's keep it going. The fact that we got Lodestone makes me a little happier here. Oh, what the hell kind of boss is this? I've not seen this guy before. We've also got Parasite at the moment as well, which is kind of nice. Oh, he's, he's like sprung a leak in the wall. That's really cool. Okay, he died fast. Good item here as well. Devil Deal is all wrapped up right. Yes, it is. Okie dokie. We are gone once again. Right, game. You're going to give me some passive items. In my item room now. You, re you, you really are. We start every floor with a golden penny now. It's goddamn amazing. If we take a look at that item we picked up last. Uh, doesn't matter. It's not there anymore. But it's really good. Either way. We get a golden penny to start every floor. And it does something to shops as well, I think. I can't remember what it does to shops, though. How has not a single one of these created a key yet? There you go. Uh, we'll take that as well. Why not? We got a double boiler, which is kind of... Crazy. Doesn't normally happen. Why are you so red? You gotta be careful with this guy, because I don't know how he works, and I've got another boss to fight that I probably also don't know how they work yet, so... There you go. Ah, it's this. These, these guys aren't terrible, but I'm a little scared. Here, we've got a few of them taken care of. Taking a good while to kill these guys. Okay, these guys are all afraid now. They generated some coins as well, apparently. Kind of nice. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Keep it pushing on. Gonna need some bombs at some point in game. A little bit low on the bomb situation right now. Soul Heart, lovely. So useful for me. Hey, a battery. Could it have been useful other floors, could it? Oh, Lodestone, you beautiful bastard. It's just such a fun tier effect. Yeah, keys are just not going to be a problem at all for us here. Excuse me. Mirror room, I think we will do. I'm going to maybe try and do a mother run here because we've, we've got some good stuff going on. We've also got a revive that's going to TM trainer us as well, apparently. I'm a little scared about that, but playing as the Lost, having any sort of revive is good. It's just going to... Result in some potentially really, really, really wacky stuff. <laughs> That's going to be a little bit daunting, I think. Because um, we're not going to know what a lot of the items do. We're just going to be kind of stuck with them. And it could cause us to get some instant death straight away after. But it's it's not exactly a risk to us. Because otherwise we wouldn't have the revive, right? So why not? Why the heck not? Oh, bl fucking hell. Blimey. This is kind of a rough room, actually. These guys are really hard to kill. That back real quick. Sun card is good. Okay, shops are definitely better. Uh, because we've got some really goddamn good stuff in here. Mainly heal spare. Because heal spare is absolute insanity. Um, I would also like the suppository as well, if we can manage to grab it. But getting that much money before the end of the floor with no donation machine to destroy doesn't seem super likely. Yeah, heal spare is absolutely nuts. That's maybe pretty good too. Getting up to literally double damage just for walking, which is something that you literally do all the time anyways, is like kind of crazy. 
chest, you say? Cardboard box, temporary tattoo. Not great. I'm looking for money more than anything, please, game. Right. Do our rooms first. Still got our item room to find as well. We seem to be, unfortunately, really behind on finding our item room. It seems to be the last thing we do every single time. We've got to fight this guy again, but we've got a lot more damage this time, so it should be way, way easier. Yeah, way, way easier. Holy damn. And we got shot speed there. We'll leave that for a second. Uh, speed and shot speed's actually pretty good. Death's touch, I'll take for the piercing. Yeah, we'll reroll that. Didn't get anything. Probably should have waited on our item room to see if we wanted to reroll that, actually, but what's done is done. We'll get out of the way. <sighs> right. Let's keep it going, find our item room, and hopefully it's not an active item. If it is, I'll cry. Also, stop shooting those little vents, because little spools, whatever the hell you want to call them. Pyro. I think I'll take Pyro. Uh, although Pyro's not insanely good for us, because the healing ability is obviously not useful, but explosion immunity is pretty nice. You can't, you can't judge the explosion immunity. We need to go back to our mirror room now. God damn, our damage is ludicrous for the floor that we're on. And now we just got even more, which means we can get Suppository, which is a damage multiplier. So Suppository will be a pretty good one for us to grab. This shop has been legendary for us, my god. Right. Yeah, damage has gone up by quite a bit there. It now reaches a peak of about 36. Yeah, 36.9. Whereas before it was reaching a peak of like 26. Giving us about 10 damage. If we send completely still, we're on 16 damage base. This is pretty nutty, especially for having piercing. We do also have a reroll here if we want it. I'm definitely going to fight the boss again because they are going to get absolutely demolished. Yeah, another key. Not that we need it. Thank you. Chest there. Guess I'll grab it. Extra money. We need that for the next floor shop because apparently shops are going to be super, super important for us now. Don't really remember where I'm going. Try my best though. But this is definitely seeming like a good mother run. I'm definitely seeing that. Certainly seeing that right now. There's that golden penny. Lovely. Not the one I was expecting, but certainly happy to have it. Up to 15 already. One-shotting literally everything. It's a magical time. More money is going to be good here. Lodestone dragging it about all over the place. It's funny. More bombs back for our hard work as well. Dude, what is going on with all the fool's gold rocks right now? They're all over the place. I mean, I'm loving it. Money is clearly going to be valuable to us here, but still, it's kind of crazy. Another one? What the hell? Is that just a, like an effect of the boiler floor, maybe? That I'm unaware of? Like I said, either way, it's definitely not a bad thing for us. Another one. I'm not going to bomb all of those because there's only single rocks. Wow. That was quite the quick boss fight. And we got another syringe. It's kind of a shame we didn't take the other one, I'll be honest. Well, another damage up. Up to 44 damage on the third floor. You know. Just chill. I'm going to go do this other room because, like, why the hell not? We're getting so many fool's gold rocks. I might as well ch chance it. Oh, wait. The, the shop in here has got stuff in it. Pentagram.
just um like 53 damage now. Okay, that doesn't reroll anything. Why was the stuff in here? Weird. I mean, I'm happy about it, but it's odd. Right, to the next floor. What's that base damage at now? 22 base damage. And then, yeah, max speed, it's like 55 point summit. 53.7 it is. Right, let's get out of here. Make sure to go to the right floor. Still love the music on this floor. Honestly, let's take twins at this point because we just not we don't need keys anymore. Twins can be kind of fun. Beautiful. This is quite a god run. This is quite a god run. I do love the occasional god run. Okay, there. Please get us up to 15 at least. It, do you know what? Those items in the shop and in the mirror realm must have been from this golden coin item. Yeah, it did get us up to it. Nice. Good. Pop the sun card in here. Not that we needed to because there was a button to kill everything, but there you go. Loads. Tears have a chance to inflict enemies with repulsion. Enemies fl inflicted with repulsion are forcefully pushed away from the player and take damage when quickly shoved into enemies' walls. That sounds good, but really, really dangerous. Like, as a character that can so easily die, I just don't want to take the risk of taking an item like that. I think that could be very detrimental to us. Ooh, Mega C is kind of nice to have. Temperance is whatever. In fact, one minute. Temperance. Grab you. Come back in here. Pop it down here. At least grab those. Yeah, sadly, a tainted treasure room that's not all that valuable for us right now. We do have a new mod on today, by the way. Um, called Rune Rooms, I think it's called something like that. Um, basically, there's now a chance for certain rooms to be replaced with a like a, like a dice room, but instead of dice, it's like rune effects. And apparently, it was a cut content from uh, Anti Birth that's been re-added. Pretty cool. Let's uh, let's move these out first. Make sure we can blow them both up at once. Probably should have pushed them onto this guy as well. Oh well. Right. Sadly inactive. Another active Melaturnum. We've had some interesting times with Melaturnum recently. Smart fly. Not that interested in. Iron Bar I'll take, because it's more damage. It's not a lot more damage, but it's more damage. And Stunning Status Effect is kind of nice. Cool Crawl Space, nice. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, didn't even realise that was an item there. My bad, I should have re-rolled that. Okay. Honestly, we've got enough bombs to do this. Why not? Four coins for one bomb is decent enough of a trade. And here... Oh, dude. Okay. Um, definitely taking this. Rest of them I'm going to re-roll. Mother's Love, definitely taking that. Cootie's pretty good. And honestly, I'd love to take the backpack here, but I don't have them funds for it anymore. But yeah, now our tier size is absolutely gigantic, which is really good with piercing.
Good. Easy peasy. And unfortunately an item here that is pretty useless to us. I, I should try and reroll it. It's a bit of a waste of time, but... In fact... Yeah, we're already, we're already well missing um, boss rush, so... I'm not that bothered about taking the extra bit of time here. Just to get that extra reroll going. But yeah, Cootie's pretty good. It basically charms the highest HP enemy in the room, I think, um, and makes it weaker or something along those lines. Ah, unfortunate. Down we go. Down we go. Right, here's our golden penny again. As always, we are hoping the golden penny rides us all the way to 15. If it gets to 15, I'm pretty happy. Unfortunately, that one did not. Don't know what item that is. Don't want to take the risk. But yeah, tier size like this just means we can hit everything so much easier. Uh, yeah. Oh! I don't know if the multiplication works well with this, but... It seems to. It seems to have uh, given us a fuckload more damage. Thirty-three. Yeah, we're up to eighty something when we're moving. That definitely seems to have worked. Normally, damage multipliers don't stack like that, but apparently, these ones do. Oh, dude! I see what's going on now. The spiked rocks are there. That was close. I must walk right into those. Almost walked right into him. They're hoping for as much money as the game can possibly see to give us right now. Hey, there you go. That's money right there, baby. But we want more. More and more. Our stats keep changing, by the way, if you keep noticing my stats like rapidly changing. It's because of um, our trinket is giving us familiars in certain rooms. And that is... Um, having an effect on the Mother's Love item, which gives us stats up per uh, familiar that we have. We'll be getting perfection this floor anyway, so we'll be trading out trinkets. So, not a shop, but... Oh, wait. It still spawned shop items, though. That's kind of nice. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, what we got going on here? Grants two soul hearts on use can only be recharged, killing eight life seed spirits that may spawn. Uh, kind of an interesting idea. I don't think I need any of this. Fever Rot isn't very good. The Wafer doesn't do anything for us, but a good item. Um, I'm going to take this, even though it's useless now, because it might have a use for us with certain other items and actives that we pick up later down the line. Honestly, I think I could use a speed up. I'm pretty happy with that. Head on in. Uh, we've got a tinted rock right here. Soul heart, sadly. Right, I think we're ready to go. Yeah? Yeah. This is beautiful. Boom, boom, boom. Really? It was awful. Worst golden penny yet. Worst golden penny yet. Do you know what? I can give you some keys. I've got a lot of keys right now. I can go down to like 10. Or not. Or not. <laughs> pay out at the worst possible time, you little gimp. Did not want you to pay out straight away like that. This room I'm going to do just for the extra chance at money. Oh, dude, let's be careful here. I just took damage. We're golden. We are golden, baby. 
Getting a lot of trinket drops as well. But also, yeah, where's our perfection? We haven't had perfection yet, have we? I don't know where that... Maybe, maybe I left it on a floor previous by accident. There's a very high chance I did. It's okay, I'm not displeased with the trinket I have now. Vanilla wafer for this time. Abundance. Oh, abundance is kind of trash for us, right? Oh, wait. Maybe not? No, it's 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 really good. <laughs> abundance is really good, actually. Um, we'll come back and reroll there. That It deactivated my active item. That's the uh, negative that I got for abundance there. But abundance in this situation is really good. I thought it only let you take one item, but it lets you take as many as you want. We now fire the occasional B shot, which is a different size, which is slightly annoying. Kind of okay. Be careful in this room because there's spikes and stuff everywhere. Enemies in general are just kind of spooky scary. Um, yeah, might as well take that for now. Uh, when we re-roll them, though, they start costing. Okay, still good to know. We've got one more shop available to us. We are very B-orientated right now, which is kind of nice. I love the noise this thing makes. If only it could open. There you go. Let me into your soul. Oh, dude, it's like 100 damage now. Okay, boss time. Goodbye, boss. There's perfection. It finally showed up. How come it was just so late? Um, and then... Tears... Um... Tears down, basically. Tears now leave uh, behind a fire, um, fire jet on collision. Tear inflicts burning. I think I just want to go for the straight damage here. And we get the purple glow as well, which is very nice. Okay, finally got perfection. Do our golden penny. This time it's going to give me loads, isn't it, now that I don't really need it. Oh, no, it didn't. It didn't. I'm not a fan of the B tiers being so small, though. I wish they'd be the same size as my regular tiers. Means I miss easier. Oh god, I'm really not a fan of those enemies. They're super cool, but they're super hard to avoid. Wow. Ram's head. Boy, have you seen my damage? Have y'all seen the damage? 135.75. Baby. Baby, these bees. These bees do be putting in overtime right now. They hit in real hard. Oh, also, we're fighting way more B-shots because of their uh, perfection as well. I didn't, didn't even realise that. I was wondering why we're fighting so many more of them. Right, this is our last shop, so let it be a good one. Tears up. We actually haven't had many tears up, so that's kind of good. It decharged de uh, de our active again. So many bees. Mini battery. These are gonna uh, be like gonna have a cost associated with them this time round. Um, technically this is good, right? I think.
Like for this active, it's not very good, but if we get a different active, it might be better. This thing in the middle is still active, by the way. I can see it looming above its shadow. This is a good golden penny. Alright, before we do the boss, there he is, look. Go and reroll that last shop item. And then wreck the boss. Oh, for God's sake. Another active item. It's just... You're just toying with me now, aren't you? You're just toying with me. Ah, oh, but bloody walks right into that. Right. Boss should get annihilated here. Yeah, the, the bees just demolished her. Battered heart. Potentially pretty good. Nice. We are good to go. Right. On to Mother. We should hopefully have a good time of killing Mother here, I think. Like, we don't really need to pick up this penny at this point. The money is basically valueless now. Not, not exactly, but... Kind of. Practically it is. Didn't even have time to spew anything out, boy. Now we're basically looking for a card that's going to value, that like be of value to us in the boss fight. Yeah, the amount of bees that we're going to get here is great. Um, I think both of these are fine. Infestation I probably should have re-rolled. Got amount of bees here. Oh god, that was close. That was actually really close. Food into health for wealth. Some golden uh, golden hearts there, but we don't need them. Right, big boss time. It's time for the fat mama jammer himself to sing. Oh, haunted chest there that I missed out on. Oh, dude. Okay. Almost died there. I did not realize this was a, a living room. I didn't realize it was one of those rooms. Mr. Dead. That was kind of close. We've got a little death angel here. I've not seen that in him before. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, I can't kill this guy until I flick the switches. That's a rough room, that is. Bucket of lard. Rerolled into nothing. Lard is gone. Every room's a jerk now, apart from enemies that take long to die. I guess I might as well take golden bombs for some reason. I don't think I'm going to use 18 bombs in this boss fight, but give it a go. I... Okay. I literally lost my holy mantle instantly. <laughs> like, within seconds of starting the fight. So this might not go so great. Yeah, I died already. Wow. I'm meant to be reviving here. But the game has crashed instead. Hey! We cheated our way into a second chance at this floor. Hazard. Okay, I need to do way better. That, that attack where it spreads the tears across to the left or right... I just, my brain.
can't goddamn do it. But we get a second chance now, I think. Um, we might just come back and have run be dead, but... All that work, and I just get hit instantly on the mother fight in the first attack. Wow. Just pathetic. Pathetic attempt. Don't know why, but yeah, that attack really wigs me out. But anyways, we get another try, hopefully. Let's see. It's going to start us at the very beginning of Corpse 2 this time, yeah. Oh, we got another soul for some reason. I, I really don't know why. Oh, it wasn't this way. It definitely wasn't this way. I don't remember which way it was, but it wasn't that way. Disappears again. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm remembering where we're going now. Did we go this way? I don't remember this room at all. Oh, we got one of those big old, big ass rocks. One of these big ass rocks. Your cart reroll until you listen. We definitely didn't go that way last time. Maybe we went up from here. Looking like maybe we went up, yeah. Didn't go this way. Secret room. Crash gave us a second chance at life. Now we just have to capitalize. This is the room of the golden bomb, right? Yeah. Right, so now we go escape, continue. Basically, if we crash again, we will respawn in this room this time instead. Right, let's do better this time, shall we? There you go, that's a better, uh, a better avoid of that attack. Holy hell, he's avoiding it like crazy. It's almost like he's done this before. Okay, there's our hit. This attack's always a little iffy. But we are golden, at least if I survive this. I did. Yay, the redo worked. We got our completion mark. Maybe a little bit cheatily, but oh well. Either way, I hope you guys enjoy that one. I'll see you guys in the next one.